Defense made a motion for a mistrial. Prosecutor was up to some fuckery. Potentially damaging evidence, no basis for it. The judge specifically said, do not ask that question. Do not use that as evidence. She walked right down the path and asked the question. It may be over on Tuesday morning. Batman Bruce Wayne bitch snitch. Daryl Brooks, your constitution does not apply to me because I'm a sovereign citizen, a traveler on the land. I'm the Mauryan Empire or whatever. Because there's something fucking absurd. If you want to be a sovereign citizen, just do yourself a favor first. Go to YouTube here and then just get every sort of sovereign citizen that's ever been recorded. Find me one that you want. Dang, you're right. Don't go down this. It's not the Some clever dick on the internet didn't find the great loophole in all of the world's law. Bitch snitch. God dang, you're right. God dang, you're right. Traveler on the land. Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how are we? We are here, we're back for another day for part two of the first hearing in the What the Hales versus versus Preacher Reverend Mother uh, Tortoise Queen, that's what we're doing today. She's, she, she's Tortoise Queen, the Reverend Mother of the uh, Florida chapter of the Bene Gesserit Witches. Uh, that's what we're doing here. Good morning, Danielle. Nice to see you. Super awesome mod, Danielle and super awesome, super awesome mod, Adrienne and Swan Lake Lady, Nicola Maxwell, Joe Choi, all the, we have all the mods. All the mods are here. Alabama Rose. What's up? It's been a minute. We're glad to have you back. All right, people, we got 186 of you here right out of the gate and hundred of you haven't done your job. Get under and smash that like button. Like, like it, like it's a dirty neighbor. And, and I I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> don't do that. All right, everybody. I am glad we are here. We are back, and it's another day. It's another time to take yet more yet more peeks into the, the 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 deep dark recesses of the tortoise queen's world. Hi. <sighs> wow. All right. <laughs> I'm I'm just so glad everybody's here. I'm having a lot of fun getting getting into this case. Like I said, the, the, the more I get in, the deeper I get in, just the weirder and weirder and weirder it becomes. But on top of everything, and I mentioned this before, and I'm going to mention it again, the, the Hales community, the, the what the Hales community, you guys, you guys are all kinds of awesome. I, I, I can't express my thanks to you because I'm always, always terrified to, to, to start to, to dip my toes into the, into the wa- into deep waters, waters where there's a lot of lore already existing. And I'm just kind of poking my nose into it. Going, What's going on over here? But you guys, you guys in the, uh, in the Hales community have been so inviting. So, so welcoming, so patient. Cause I know there's just, there's so much behind this that I, I I don't know, and I probably never will be able to know. But you're, you're I've only in, in three the three days I've done this, I've only had one real like negative comment, and it was actually really funny, so it, it wasn't that negative. Um, 
but again, seriously, just with all sincerity from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your patience with me while I, while I learn more about this and your comments are so constructive. The, you know, both here in chat, you know, in the super chats and in the, uh, in the comment section after it's, it's great. And, and I'm, I'm just glad you're here. Excuse me while I clear my throat. Hi, I'm back. Uh, and if you can already hear the dog, the dog's chewing on, oh, we've got both dogs in here now, but both of my dogs are here chewing bone, bone, snoring, making noise, all of the heavy breathe. Well, most, well, most of the heavy breathing <laughs> need to be panned. Uh, <laughs> No, the the heavy breathing, the the crunchy noises, the the banging, the the occasional mic shake. I mean, that that's a camera, not a mic. The occasional camera shake all all comes from the fact that I've got two like fifty pound, a twenty three kilogram English bulldogs that are just sort of tanking their way around the the studio here. So, uh, forget forgive me for all the all the all the all the ambient noise you hear. Um, right. We've got two hours here, and I'm pleased to I'm pleased to note that the Hannah Gutierrez trial, which I'm also covering, might finish today. It might actually we might actually have a judgment today. If not, I'm sure we'll have a judgment early tomorrow. So what that means is I will soon be reverting to my normal streaming time, which is an hour from now, and uh, I don't have any time limit when I do that. So so hopefully starting tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the next day at the latest. We'll be moving back to the normal time of 9 a.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. UK, uh, 11 p.m. here in Korea, and that's uh, at 1 a.m. East Coast of Australia. Oh, my gosh. Where do we go? We, we, got, we got about halfway through this second hearing uh, in Judge Grudge's villain origin story. And here's the, in case you didn't see it, I'm sure you did, but here's the, here's the thumbnail. Now I have a question for chat before we actually get back into the hearing. Uh, here's, here's the thumbnail for, uh, for today. <laughs> do we, do we, 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 we have uh, you know, Judge Grudge here in his, in his village and or, villain origin story. We've got, uh, we've got it done in comic book style, like the you know, Marvel comic book style. And I, I also, for, for the, I don't know if you, if you saw it or not, I also uh, whipped up a, a, a tortoise queen AI thing because, you know, she's, she runs her little tortoise rescue and we, we were sort of comparing her to the, li to the Lion King, the, the Tiger King. And so I thought, I thought we'd kind of make her up a little bit as the, as the Tiger King, uh, but we could call her the tortoise queen. And let me, and so she's on there, and we we kind of got it all on the comic book font and stuff like that. So, my question for you, for all of you here in chat, all 325 of you that are here now, now that you've got a, if, if assuming that you're a repeat viewer, now that you've got a little bit be a better feel for for who I am and what I do, I I I, I took it slow at the beginning. I've I've held myself in reserve. <laughs> This is what you've seen the past two days, two or three days, is reserved me. Uh, what I'm asking you, and what I want you to respond to quickly here in our little flash poll: Should I be more? How is my snark level okay, or or do I have do I have your blessing to to increase the snark? Uh, to be, to be a little snarkier, a little, a little more edgy, a little, you take a walk on the edge Lord side a little bit. So one, if you think my level of snark is just about right, uh, two, if you, if you think I should unleash the snark a little bit more, that's just put that in chat. One, one for right amount of snark, two for unleash the snark a little bit more. Uh, if you think I need less snark, well, then this channel is not for you because <laughs> I, I don't have that mode and well, well, uh oh. <laughs> it's nearly a unanimous two. <laughs> and now you've just seen my villain origin story and it's all your fault. All right. Thank thank you for your permission to to uh, be be a little a little schnurkier. We can do that. We 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 can uh, we can we we can always bump up the sarcasm. We can always bump up the uh, what I what I think are jokes, and hopefully you'll think they're jokes too. Uh, we, we can bump up the uh, attempts at humor, we'll call it. Yeah, we can we can do that. All right, bless you all. Uh, <laughs> and like I said, we we did this is the 
Let me bring this picture up too. Why not? So as I as I said, you can see her down here. We 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 uh, we turned her into the tortoise queen, sort of the uh, the the my take on her as the tiger king. Um, yeah, here she is. Come on, share. Biatch, there we go. I don't. Know, I think it's kind of cool. I I, I like that. Uh, I don't know. See, eh, I think it's funny. So that well, that's a uh, that that's my take on the tortoise queen, preserver of all things tortai. <sighs> These people are horrible. Two things I hate is hurting children and animals. Well, good. You should. You should hate. You should hate people that hurt children and animals, especially especially animals, because they usually go on to hurt children. Uh, and and for those of you that have been wondering about the chair, again, this is this is just a chair from my whiskey room. My 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 studio chair just gave up the ghost and died. And I went on a quest to get a new chair. I ordered one from China that was a complete write-off. Absolutely got trolled big time on that. Chucked it. But I think I found my new chair uh, from from Costco. So after work tomorrow, I'm going to go pick up my new chair from Costco. I'll put it together on Saturday, and I should have a new chair. And this this really super comfortable Buffalo Hyde Chesterfield chair will take its normal position at the other end of the house in the uh, whiskey and cigar room. Uh, right. Oh, Otto, you like the hat? Thank you very much. This is a – most all of my cowboy hats, all of my Western hats come from uh, Miller Hats in Texas, millerhats.com. They make they make great. I've worn Miller hats for twenty five years. Uh, but yeah, this this is a great little. It's, it's a gambler hat. It's like a gambler style hat. It's a straw. It's like a, kind of a gunmetal blue. It looked kind of black, but it's kind of a gunmetal blue uh, straw gambler style hat. I have I did, I decided to wear this because I haven't worn it for a long time. Just put wheels on that one. No, see, I'm trying to get away from the wheels. All right, this is it. We've 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 given 12 minutes for people to get here. It's time to get down to business. I think. Uh, all right, we've got 421 people here. 191 likes. Half of you, 200 of you haven't done your job. Get down there and smash that like button. It's free. It costs you nothing. And subscribe to the channel. You guys have been so amazing with your subscriptions. We've picked up 500 more subscribers since yesterday. Right now, we are currently, we've got six, 68,000 and something, 68,500 something. I mean, the exact number, 68,520. That means we are 480 subscribers away from the big Lorax's big giant 69 party. We're going to we're going to have a big giant 69 party. Uh, everybody's invited to 69 uh, when we get 480 more subscribers. Uh, <laughs> I tried to do that with a straight face. I couldn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that's what's going to happen. And. Uh, for those of you that don't know, every, once a month, I do what I call an F it Friday stream where we just say F it. Uh, we, it's a once a month super griftathon where I just spend the entire day trying you grifting and trying to liberate as much money from you as possible just in one stream, one day a month so we can get it over with. And what we do, the rules are uh, for every hundred dollars that dollars that comes in, I do a shot of whiskey and uh, we just see how drunk we can get me. <laughs> and I also have a great panel of guests. The first initial panel should be announced sometime tomorrow. But this is the the St. Patrick's Day March, uh, hopefully giant sixty nine party. So it should it should have an amazing panel of some amazing YouTubers. So join me for that. Uh, if if you want to see what they're all about, go back and check out some of the ones in the archives. Uh, so that'll be happening next Friday, the fifteenth. Friday, right around seven eight p.m. Eastern time. We'll, we'll give you more, more details on that. And all right, now I swear to God, I'm going to stop talking for just a quick second and jump into this. Uh oh, Nick Staros says I had to resub today. Really? Nick Staros got an awesome channel as well. Go check out Nick Staros channel. He's a, he's, he's a, he's a Viking Swedish lawyer. Uh, <laughs> uh, see, that's the thing. If you are subscribed to, please double check to make sure you're still subscribed because it does things like that. I, 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 I've had, I've had some of my own mods that have been unsubscribed from my channel because YouTube sucks quite a bit of the time, but they do give me the space here. Uh, Shane Cook, thank you so much for being the newest member of the clean and sober crew right before showtime. Shane Cook signed on. I appreciate that so much. 
Uh, thank you for the support. Nick Starro. And one thing that you don't know is we all uh, normally when we're not doing trials on Mondays, we do what I call Maritime Monday. That's the majority of what I do is, is like Maritime and Admiralty Law. We talk about ship collisions and cannibalism and things like that. All things piratey. Uh, we do those on Monday. So my my little uh, sound for for uh, welcoming super chats is is ship bells, and uh, so you're like you know, hey, give a shout out to Nick Starro for 50 of these equals doggo doggo cam because he gave us the 20 sexy Swedish monies, and Sonny or Chris cry havoc, full full send on the snack. Okay, we do have the, we do have snacks at the hundred dollar mark. Uh, we unlock the, uh, the 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 pig dog bulldog cam. We've got snacks tonight. These are these are bully sticks, which. Are essentially uh, dehydrated cow penises. Well, not cow penises, bull penises. Yeah, but hey, it's it's 2024. It could be a cow penis. Come on, you know. I don't know how they identify, uh, but yeah, they're basically dehydrated bulls penises. So <laughs> that's what we'll unlock at the hundred dollars super chat mark. All right, that that's all out of the way, and I hope I never have to say those two words ever, ever again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> snark for snacks. That's what we need. It's the snark for snacks campaign. <laughs> I snark. You, you fund the snacks. All right. Oh, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> snark for snacks. Um, all right. We th Again, as I was saying, this is the origin story for, uh, for judge grudge. Uh, nope, not not you. That's the that's the that's the Hannah Gutierrez trial. We don't need you for two more hours. Be gone. Ah, uh, there we are. God, those dogs are breathing up a storm. All right, we started to watch this yesterday, and as always here on my channel, I know it's fun to bandwagon and and say what's popular and do things like that. But I I call the shots as I see the shots. And as we watched this yesterday, um, I I was expressing. I know how it ends. I know how the the I know how the the well. I know how the judge arc has proceed. Excuse me, has proceeded thus far. I I know where we get to bring us up to speed on all of this. But this is the origin story. So up to this point, the first half of this first trial, he seems like a very nice calm, very, very caring, very gentle, wonderful judge. He's being you know, very, very tolerant of this insane, crazy woman who isn't making much sense. He's, he's trying to help her and guide her as much as possible. So, you know, he, he just, he seems like a very, very nice, fair, caring, gentle judge. Who, who's, who just wants to make sure that justice happens. He's expressed exasperation at her a little bit. That, you know, she's not making the the, the, the most sense of, of anyone that's ever been in his courtroom. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm I'm not seeing full evil judge yet. I, uh, but right at the end of yesterday's show, we started to see cracks in his armor. He kind of crossed the line. He, he walked the line really close between judge, who is trying to explain things to someone who doesn't have a lawyer and really doesn't have much of a clue about how anything works. Uh into advocacy and right as we got to the end, I think we got to the, I think we got to the origin moment, the point where, Hey, what's up? Dub MG, MG law here too. What about the chair from, what is the chair from Costco? I need a new chair. I it's in a white box. I'll, I'll, I'll give you more details later, but I think yesterday, right as we were coming to the end of this part, right about 45, 50 minutes into this two hour stream, I think we got to the point where, we saw him switch and begin his his journey to the dark side. And I think it's just because this woman out crazied him. This woman just drove this mild mannered, gentle, caring grandfather of a judge off the damn deep end. I think she just ran him over, ran him off the deep end. He went nuts. And once you go nuts, you just go full evil. So I think this this is now he's having the awakening. And I, I I backed it up a few minutes so I think we can watch the moment where she finally just drove him insane. Just turned him stark raving mad. And then I think it's going to take a while for him to awaken to his full potential where he he he's kind of feeling out the dark side of the judicial force. So let's let's see how this goes. Let's turn on our subtitles. 
and put them up there at the top. We'll put them over here in the, uh, we can put them over there. That's weird. We can put them over here, but we can't put them over there. Screw it. All right. Turn off, turn on the microphone and let me messaging me. They go on my rest. My okay. She, this, all right. She's talking about all of the, the judge is trying to like, what, what, what is he doing? That's making people come to you. And what are these people doing? They're, 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 they're looking at me weird. They're, 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 they're driving on public roads. They're, uh, they're, they're, uh, you know, they're, they're talking about turtles. They're uh, uh, they're, they're driving past. Me. They're, they're taking pictures of, of nature, and the judge is just gonna snap and go insane. Despite being annoyed, inconvenienced. It's not just annoyance. Okay, it's so that's not. what I'm asking you. It's way bigger than that. It's way bigger than that. But I get tell people me how. E emailing me, messaging me. They go on my rest, my tortoise rest. They go. They and they write my the paid. nastiest things that you've ever seen. Okay, but I'm talking about the actions of Mr. Hale. Right. Did he ever ask people post nasty things? That's what you do when you're a YouTube. When you're on <laughs> no, that's YouTube. not. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? He, he, he goes on YouTube and he, he rallies the troops to, to harass you and torment you and make your life a living hell. Well, that's what you do when you're a YouTuber. Uh, everything that guy just says bullshit. Thank you. No, I, I, that's not what we do. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. That's what you do when you're a YouTuber, when you're on YouTube. You just harass people. <laughs> oh, my Lord. And you're telling 600,000 people all of these stories on and on and on. Stay tuned. Find out at 530 what happened. The update. He, he said that he, I have it right here on paper. He says, you're going to, you're going to rip, rip me to shreds. or I don't believe you. Whatever the wording is. Or the judge is going to rip you, her to shreds. You're pointing to me? Huh? When you say you, you're going to? You, he said you are. Yes. Yeah. It's now, even the judge is going full Travis Bickle here from, from, from taxi driver. You do this. You, you talking to me? You, you, are you talking to me? I don't see anybody else here. Are you talking to me? The judge is like, well, you're, you're not saying I'm doing this. Are you? Huh? When you say at 530, what happened? The update. He said, he said that he, I have it right here on paper. He says, you're going to, you're going to rip, rip me to shreds or basically whatever the wording is. Florida you, judge is going to rip you, her to shreds. You're pointing to me? Huh? When you say you, you're going to? You, he said you are. Yes. Yeah. It's on paperwork. It's constant. It's, it's every day. And the Oh, oh, I see. If, uh, people, if people I, I'm covering the tortoise queen, am I? And oh, all right. Well, let me, let me shrink myself or let's see. That's that's too small. I don't, I don't want I don't want to take my 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 hands. Oh, that's not what we want. I want to take my handsome mug all the way out. But all right, I'll I'll make I'll make myself small just just for you peeps. Or how about this? All right. Oh, okay. There we go. That's a that's a good mid ground. We I, we def we definitely don't want to cover up the, the the tortoise queen. Thank you, thank you for pointing that out. These people are angry. They're angry because they're, these are people that they love and they follow and people get addicted and obsessed. And that's what I'm trying to prove to you. He's obsessed with doing this to us because it makes him financially rich. Who, who is the angry one here? Well, I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know if, if, if Mr. Hales is angry or not, because he hasn't been allowed to say anything yet. Whereas with her, all, the one thing we do know is this is what she does every morning when she goes out to her turtle, her tortoise preserve. I am filled with scotch and bitterness and impure thoughts. That's, we know she's angry. We, we can smell her anger from here. He's making about, so much about, money out of this, out of hurting me. Hang, hang on, Ms. Preston, I can't make assumptions. So you got to tell me the impact on you, not what he's doing, because you've told me what well, he's doing. I can't, I can't buy or sell <laughs> anything online in my in my area because all of his followers will write nasty things after everything, after any post we make gets, it's it's nasty. I brought them. Um, I've been called a scummy cunt. 
I've been called a child molester. Give your baby back to the biological mother. <laughs> he made up these stories about he supposedly talked to the grandmother and the grandmother of my adopted child lied to him. Of course she did. She's a drunk. The mother was a, was a drug addict. My baby was. Hello? Hello, kettle? This is the pot. Uh, what? Here, here, here's a, a stripper uh, who has who has sampled uh, apparently one or two illicit substances in her life, talking about someone else who's doing that. Was almost aborted twice. I got the baby. She's one out of six kids. This mother don't have. I want you to he posted all. Oh of my that god, on, sir! I, I, on the, I, that's in your petition. All of it. You, it's in your petition. People hate you attested me. that what's in the petition is true. I, I, now, now, come on, people. Why, why, why would you hate this woman? Why, why would you hate her? Why? I, I can't. <laughs> this is this is a woman who is surprised that people hate her. Yeah, this 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 is what this is what uh, the old remember those videotapes they used to sell late night on TV. Girls Gone Wild. This is like Girls Gone Wild twenty five years later. They're just crabby old people in courtrooms complaining people are interfering with their tortoise preserves. You, it's in your petition. People hate you attested me. that what's in the petition is true. I, I, I trust, I believe, I've accepted what you're saying. Yeah, they okay, right here. This is where I think she just drove him mad. This is where she just drove him crazy. He's like, all right. I Now, okay, all seriousness. All right, let's, let's put the snark aside for a second. All seriousness here. This is where I think he crosses the line. See, before he went, I understand. I understand your position. I understand what you're saying. He's doing a little reflective listening. He's validating her feelings, whether or not you know she's correct. And I think he was doing it just to get her to shut the hell up. But here, right here is where I think he's crossed the line. Now he's saying, I trust you, I believe you, and I've accepted what you're saying. That goes beyond. That, that goes beyond just trying to appease her and to get her mouth shut. This is him basically saying he's accepting everything she's said without a single damn bit of evidence to support anything she's saying. So th this, again, all, all joking aside, this is where I think he crossed the line and began his descent into hating Jeremy. Okay, I, I've just, I've gone blank. See, this is another one of these damn moves. Uh, Jeremy, right? It's not, uh, J Jamie popped into my mind and Jeremy at the same time. Oh my God, I'm so terrible. Mr. Hales, oh my God, don't hate me, people. Uh, she freaked me out. She, she, she's working me under her spell, too. I, I can't resist. She's sapping what little memory I have left. Jeremy, I knew it was Jeremy. But like I said, I said Jeremy, and then like Jamie popped into my head. I'm like, oh my God, did I just make a mistake? All right. Hey, hey, and your petition me. is that he posted those things. Yes. Let's get to the and impact it's, it's had on you. That's the question. I'm, I point. just now started counseling. But before you talk about what impact it's had on her, you need to make her prove he actually did these things. How about that, judge? Don't say, I accept, I believe, I understand, and I, you know, now how is, how is what he's done impacted you? Prove that he did these things. That's how evidence works. That, and, and you know, that's, that's not something you can just ignore. The, with a new agency, I'm getting set up with them. CPS set me up with them, Child Protection Services, and not because I need it for my daughter, but because of for what he's doing to me. I can't, I won't let my little girl go outside to play because I'm afraid. I don't know if someone's going to kidnap her. If you, there is video of you. There is video of her, and I'm sure most of you have seen it. There's video of her when the uh, when the fish and game people, when the fish and wildlife people come to inspect her tortoise pools, <laughs> her, her tortoise tubs. She's got tubs of tortoises in the backyard. She is 
her daughter who is suffering from this this life threatening metabolic disorder or whatever the hell it is, putting her barefoot into that trash dump, pointing out, be careful because there's broken glass everywhere, telling her to run around and you know, play in the road, literally telling her daughter to go play in the street. And now, even as we speak, she's not here in the courtroom. The daughter's not here. She's afraid her, her daughter is going to be kidnapped. So she leaves her out in the car with uh, her former man. If you don't want your daughter to be kidnapped, perhaps you should put him in a courtroom where there's all kinds of security and stuff. Uh, but uh, th it, this is this is this is just dumb. <laughs> if he's going to kidnap her, if if they're going to shoot at us, I don't know what shoot gonna at us. Next. But why do, why do you think people are going to shoot or it, kidnap your child? Um, your see, this judge has moments of lucidity now. He's not gone completely crazy. He's not completely gone over to the dark side yet. It it's like it's like the redemption arc that you know fails ultimately where you know, he's, he's laying there in the dirt and the judge is like, Oh, I know I was an asshole, but now I've changed. You know, I I'm, I'm, I'm no longer Darth Vader. I'm, I'm Anakin again, son, you know, that, that sort of stuff. But uh, he kind of fails. How old is she? I understand she's 60. I understand she's 60 years old, but uh, I think she's probably just 27 and she's had a rough life. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <sighs> Into the mud, scum queen. Really serious crime. Because of everything he's posted, there is a hate group called the Otter Creek and the Shady Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> that should be that should be her. That should be the nickname for her encampment, uh, Otter Creek and the Shady Bunch. On that post. He's who they call anonymous. Oh, oh my God, he's an he's anonymous. All of these anonymous sources, all of these anonymous posts around—it's all been him. Okay. The shady bunch. The shady bunch. Uh, Jacob's proud madre, who's been a member for eighteen months. Jacob's proud madre, it's good to see you here. You are one of the OG members. I don't think there's anybody that's been a member longer than eighteen months, and everybody wants to be wants to be one of my members. Everybody wants to be my member. Uh, but you, you, thank you so much for being a super supporter for eighteen months. That's 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 fantastic. Thank you so much for that. And Sonia, Chris, Adara the Adara the wholesome, Your Honor, I, I'm only guilty of turtle power meth. Oh, I forgot to mention. Speaking of turtle power, I forgot to mention the like and subscribe poll. Shame on me. Uh, and oh, and for for some reason, this isn't picking up some of the super chats. I think. Uh, Yes, we. I think we missed Sonia or Chris's first first deal that I can't get to right now because chat has progressed so further. Where I don't think I read Sonia or Chris's super chat, and I apologize if I didn't. Where, where he says, "Where is it?" Uh, the the cry havoc, full send on the snark. I missed that somehow, and I can't get back to it. So thank you so much for for sending that. And what else do we have here? I guess oh, Dara the wholesome, Your Honor. I'm not guilty of the turtle power meth. All right. So we every day I do a like and subscribe. I'll just remember to hit like and subscribe. So do that. We got 772 of you here now and 356 likes. Half of you just, again, haven't done your damn job. Get down there. Hit that like button. Let's get us up to 600 likes. So YouTube triggers their little algorithm and says, let's go see what Legal Vices is up to. Uh, but after you hit the subscribe button, and if you have subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed. Vote in our little like and subscribe poll. Like, subscribe, vote. That's how it works. Why, why did Judge Grudge turn evil? This is your chance to tell us why you think he turned evil. Why did Judge Grudge turn evil? Your choices are he didn't get a pony for his seventh birthday. He believes that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are real, and therefore he backs her tortoise preserve. Uh, he's, mesmerized by, he's mesmerized just by the evil tortoise queen. And he's just always been a little evil. And it's somehow been cultivated. Those are the questions. We will get back and we'll check your answers in about 30 minutes on why you think Judge Grudge actually turned evil. 
As Devil's Advocate says, MG Law, he may have to accept the allegations as true for a temporary order, but then have a full evidentiary hearing to determine whether to enter a permanent order. Why? Well, I, I think he has to at least be convinced there's some merit to her claims. I mean, anybody could just walk in and go, "Hey, ah, this is what happened," but at least show a damn receipt. And I think that's one thing we'll do after this is uh, when, when we finish this, so maybe tomorrow or, or 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 the next day, we'll go back and we'll look at her petition. Well, look at the petition she filed that led up to this deal. We can see what she's submitted and whether any of it, any of it would seem to support even a temporary uh, injunction or restraining order or prohibition or whatever they call it there. He, he posts anonymously well, on there. Tell me how, how you draw that conclusion that he Because when, he, when this person says, I love you all, I'm so thankful for your support and your whatever, I have that post with. Um, You're assuming. Okay, I'm assuming. Well, it like, doesn't matter what, whatever. Well, Everything matter. he posts <laughs> online. Hang on, hang on. It does matter because you're assuming that's one thing, but if you've actually been able to discern yes. from whatever investigation or other corroborating circumstances, okay, I it's brought, him. I brought, I brought them all with me. I brought ones here saying that they're now going to sell T-shirts. <laughs> they had to approve it with JH, which is what they call him. They had to approve the sale of these T-shirts oh, that please. has Lynette on it. Oh. Yes, his. Lynette, those are the T-shirts you're going to say? Come on, you, you guys can do better than that. You guys can do better than just a T-shirt that says Lynette on it. Come Followers, on. Okay. and it says right on it, I've spoken to JH. He said, go ahead with it. The process, process of how they were going to distribute the money and the profit from the T-shirts were 60% go to... Otter Creek, so Granger's the new man, the new mayor, and that twenty percent will go to to him, let's and twenty percent to back them. up a little. You've told me what he's done or what you're attributing to him. Right. You've told me what you're attributing right. to. His I'm fans. now going to therapy. I want. I can't leave my property. I'm. I'm going to therapy. I can't. Re so how are you going to therapy if you can't leave your property? You're doing it online. If so, congratulations. But uh, I don't think it's working. <laughs> I don't know. What do y'all think? It doesn't sound like it's working. And I just, I, I can't, I can't take this anymore. I need, I need a drink. And this is the beauty of, of this time because I'm here in Korea and it's 1040 p.m. So I can enjoy a good, a good drink. Oh dear Lord! Tried to get through this without, without a calming, relaxing influence of sweet, sweet scotch. But here we are. Terrified that I, that we're going to be hurt. We we're putting up a barrier. We don't have money right now. For the broken bed. futon barrier. So we had to do whatever. And I think you remember me talking about that. I I said I'm I'm willing to do whatever I can to stop him from videoing us. Stop it. So John went out and got a bunch of pulls. He just got out of the hospital for a new knee replacement. And he's doing all this work. He's putting up tin in front of our whole entire property to stop this so I can let my little girl play outside. Hmm. It's sick when I have, we had a road that had no traffic. And now every single day, Hundreds of cars are going by every day, maybe 15, 15 cars a day filming my property. What? <laughs> Wait, what? There's hundreds of cars going by. There, there's like maybe 15 cars going by taking pictures. She, she can't keep a story straight for, for one sentence. There's hundreds of cars. Okay, if... If there's hundreds of cars going by, there's a there's hundreds of cars going by. If there's only 15 a day that are taking pictures of your property, and I, I'm still going to call horseshit on that. I don't know why. It just feels like she's not telling the truth. 
Let's say there's 15 cars a day taking pictures. That means most likely they're the other 85 or you know 85 plus however however many aren't involved in this. So yeah. Uh, Jeremy, Jermaine Down says, uh, if J.H. can't get the state's attorney to enforce the Ohio order, can't he file for a writ of mandamus in the Northern District of Florida? Okay, and, and I was actually going to ask where, <laughs> where where Levy County is, because I, I thought it was like kind of central Florida-ish, but apparently I'm wrong if it's if it's in if it's in north if that's where the Northern District is. Um, I, I, Not, I mean, it, ordinarily, what a, what a, what a writ of mandamus is is if if a, if there's a government official or, or or court that's not doing their duties, like, you, then you go to like the the appellate level court and you get an order ordering the, the 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 court or the government official to do their goddamn job. I. I See this. This is an odd thing. I don't know, and I, and I would assume that if they could, they already would have. To to uh, see, I mean, first of all, this shouldn't be a deal because there should be full faith and credit given to out of state or because if you just ignore another state's restraining order or a court order, that's how people die. So, ah, we didn't issue it. So yeah, we're not going to enforce it, which I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand why they're why this judge is just not automatically giving full faith and credit to the Ohio order. It it, it it's it's bewildering. Hey, we got we got Shizzy Shizzy Wiz Nuts saying hi. I'm just kind of hanging out on his channel for a bit. What's up, Shiz Raiders? Good to see you here. Hit that like button on your way in. Oh, and Janice Wingfield with a ten dollars says Lynette says she's paralyzed to her property. Yeah, she said that. Uh, but then advertises that she'll drive up to 100 miles one way to perform marriage ceremonies. She's sure she's terrified to leave her property. Oh, yeah. And who wouldn't want this this charming, lovely, lo lovely woman to uh, officiate your wedding? <laughs> I mean, who, who wouldn't want her there? Who wouldn't want this little ray of sunshine there with you on your on, on the on the happiest day of your life? I mean, come on. Every, everybody wants a little Lynette in their life, don't they? Don't, I, I can't think of anybody else I'd rather have at my wedding. Ugh. She's, she's, she's unsavory. <laughs> she's just the definition of distasteful. And MG Law says, I've done TROs in the past, temporary restraining orders in the past. I can get a temporary order entered without a hearing based solely on a prima facie case, which means like on the surface, just like looking at it, going, okay, there, it's just like on the surface of it, it looks like there's a case uh, set forth in the petition, but I have to prove it at trial for a permanent order. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, I, I, I personally have never done a temporary restraining order, uh, so, but... Hmm. I think it's interesting that it's not an ex parte proceeding here. You like nor, you, ordinary. I don't even know if it's normal or ordinary, but you can get what's called the ex parte deals, which there's no hearing. The other side doesn't get any say whatsoever in the order. The judge just looks at the documents and decides whether to do it or not without any hearing. And that's not what they're doing here. So, they, 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 he should, theor, in theory, <laughs> theoretically, at some point in this proceeding, be allowed to give his opinion. Uh, it hasn't happened yet, and we're over an hour into the proceedings, but at some point, he should, or his lawyer should, be able to say something on his behalf. Uh, and But I have to prove it later to trial for a permanent order. I, I, I defer to you, MG Law, because you make that makes sense. Prima facie, just on the surface, just just at at a glance is kind of that's the if just looking at the just taking a glance at the documents. If there's anything that suggests that there's a, a hint of of truth to it, that's sort of what a prima facie case is. Uh, 
I just I just think there needs to be something more than the rantings of an insane woman. Going by every day, maybe 15, 15 cars a day filming my property. How do I know one of those people because of him and what he's posted? Is it gonna I have it on my cameras? How many cars go by every day? So are you attributing their actions to yes, something he's to what, causing? Yes. Yes, to everything he's posting about us online. Oh. That, that were crackheads, that were meth addicts, that were druggies, that were beating this kid, were misabusing her. Misabusing. That's a new term. She's misabusing. So, like, there's, like, proper abusing, and then there's just misabusing. She's misabusing him, which... Yeah, my lord, Jake, Jake Jacob's proud madre for the twenty dollars would love to chip in for a special dance for you, Jeff, from this dazzling young lady. No, no music though, just her talking to you. Now that's uh, that's entirely unnecessary. That's <laughs> that's not necessary. You, you, I, 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 appre I appreciate the thought. But you you don't have to go to all that trouble. Thank thank you very much, though. I mean, what what would I say to her? Hmm. Let me let me think. What what would I say to her if we got this this theoretical silent lap dance or or, or strip show, whatever it is? Oh, nice to meet you, Mrs. Hello, my kids from a sperm bank. Since I can't keep a man, because in addition to my Jillian neuroses, I have a weird looking vagina. Hmm. That's probably how it would go. Um, I have an outdoor bathroom I built. It has a, a beautiful uh, open air shower, just like the campground's got an outdoor bathroom. Wait, I built an outdoor bathroom? <laughs> Doesn't that mean she has an outhouse? <laughs> Wait, she's, she's bragging about her outhouse. Now, okay, I mean... Legit, if that's how you live and that's all you can afford, and you're you're happy to have that outhouse, okay. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not not making fun of you, but she's like, I've built this beautiful outhouse. <laughs> I built I built this beautiful outhouse with, with an open air shower. What in God's name does that mean? To me, that means there's like a hose attached to a bucket hanging from a tree. She used a five-gallon bucket. Yeah, spoiler. We saw that on the uh, on the fish and game body cam footage. Yeah, her her beautiful outhouse with the open air <laughs> shower. Oh crap! Look, literally, crap is it, like a bucket. Oh god! It's, no, it no. She's. It there's the outhouse and the open air shower. It's just a. It, 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 it's just a, a, a regular resort there. Oh, God. It's a cruelty to the animals. The animals have to see it. <laughs> it's, it's animal cruelty that the, that the tortoises have to watch her shower. Her shower? It has a... I made a composting toilet. Oh, so Jesus! Oh, my Lord. It gets worse every time she opens her mouth. It gets, but technically, isn't every toilet a compost toilet when you think about it? So this is a legit outhouse. Uh, if it's not a house structure, it's this five gallon bucket, and it's like, oh look, you just take the contents of the bucket, put them somewhere else, and call it a compost toilet, and then you just hose yourself off with that gorgeous outdoor shower facility. It's not a real toilet. I have a toilet in, in the camper. We have an RV hooked up to an $11,000 septic system, but they got to focus on that. And he has to post on that <laughs> about, he, he, he even posted with the, with the bucket to advertise their fall uh, thing that they have. Uh, we, we have Bob Kirkman says he's, he, she has been married and divorced seven times. I, I, I heard something to that effect. Thank you for the confirmation. She has been married and divorced seven times. Oh, and by the way, we are about $40 away from unleashing the pig dog cam. And just in case you're keeping score at home. Uh, Law and Odor says, who is Hales? Hales is, the, is this fine gentleman here in blue in the background who has not been able to get a word in edgewise 
for about the last 45 minutes, according, according to my recollection and calculation of the passage of time. Crystal Smith with just a $5 empty space. Thank you so much, Crystal Smith. I, I appreciate your support. That's that's darn awesome. Uh, Jacob's proud madre. I'm still traumatized by your 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 offer of a, a silent strip show from for her. Uh, yeah, so that that's that's poor Mr. Hales back there who's just well, not just know we have we have better toilets than the than the composting bucket if that's what all these are. Th this is every single day. Have you seen what Whoa. If it was in the packet, I saw most of them were in the packet, but there are some new that are brand new within the last few days. Oh man, I'll be glad to. Okay, can you, can you do so? Because if you're if you're asking the court to consider those, you've got to. I brought a set of them for him. Okay. The fact she's been married seven times just tells me that there's some stupid effing dudes out there in the world. There you go. There you go. Thank you. All right, do you have a copy for the court? Yes, I do. And are you, if you're asking the court to consider those as evidence, you've yes, got you've got to submit them, okay? It proves that even court after court in Ohio, he continues to do this stuff to us. If he would stop and leave us alone, Everything would be fine. There would be no problems. Leave us alone. Just leave me alone. He, but I'm not the only target. There's other people in oh. town that he's targeting too, but I want him to leave me alone. I want him to leave everybody alone. Leave I my monkey that, that alone. Needs to go back leave to my monkey uh, loving alone. Loving thy neighbor and being good to each other and just leaving people alone. I bought this land to give to my daughter because I'm 60 years old. She's four. I'm going to be 80. So I'm probably not going to be here. And she needs a place to live where she can have a home that's paid for, that she doesn't have to be homeless or at 18 years old, not know where she's going. Mr. Feather, any objection to these exhibits? Yes, Your Honor. Authentication. They're off his page, every one of them. Uh, so a screenshot off his page. Relevant and hang on. Let's let's deal with authentication. Ms. Um, Preston, where these copies that you provided to the court, the numerous pages that you've just screenshot them off his community site right on his YouTube. It says right here, what the hails on all of them. Okay. These any additional this, objection? Does she know that an employee doesn't post those or a corporation or some producer somewhere? No, Jeremy uh, posts everything. She testified to that fact who actually created these piece. documents before the did, court considered did, Jer did Jeremy, in the Ohio case, did Jeremy admit to having the, these posts? The you, you haven't read the Ohio? Come on, Judge. Do your homework. Did Ohio ever know that he has a web page about you? Yes, he said, well, you read the letter. He said he's a YouTube star or whatever, a celebrity, you think he said? Right, did, but did he tell the judge that part of that YouTube channel is about you? No. Did you tell the judge? Yes, I tried to. Okay. She said it's not about me, it's about him. This, hit, this is his trial, his hearings. What evidence did he give to the judge that you posted his address or you posted his phone number or that you called him a rapist? I gave him all of, I sent up to her. No, no, no. What did he give the judge that established those things? Uh, the post that he gave to the, to the, to the, Lord, to the judge yeah. was what Martha Hughes, what, what okay, Marla Hughes things posted. Things that looked like they were attributed to you, yeah, but they weren't. Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, it that, well, that's right bloody on. convenient. So let, let me ask you about the pages that you handed to me. Are you, you're attributing them to him because they're on his site. He controls his site. The YouTube channel. He yeah, only posts. Right, I'm going to ask her. How do you, how do you <laughs> know that assertion that you just made? He controls that site. How do you know that? Because it, that's his, that he, why would he let anyone else get on and post these on his site? Does he have pictures of himself on it? Yes. It's his What the Hails on YouTube, his community page. Some of these are also from so the, the posts that he made. Are these from Facebook and the Facebook page? and 
both YouTube and yeah. Facebook. Well, authenticate authenticate the Facebook pages. His, Prove that he um, runs that Facebook, Facebook page. page. That I can't. I'm blocked from it. Oh, but they were sent to me. Okay. Well. They're they they are authentic. He had a fall fun. They had a fall thing, and so he posted you, on his YouTube channel every day. That's where <laughs> I got them. I went right to his own page and screenshotted them. It's all about us. All of these, every one of these is about us. I didn't take any of them that didn't be about us. None of them. All right. So hang on a second. So <laughs> we have another moment of lucidity here from the judge. I just did it for evidence in court. That's that, well, that's what we're getting to is whether there's going to be. Oh, okay. Why? Well, thank you so court. much. So there's an objection to authentication. And they, say his, they say his company name on it right there. And I can show you right now on his YouTube channel on my laptop that it's they're there unless they're having somebody go delete them right now. Can you pull up his Facebook page? Yes. yes. Can on my phone? I my thought phone? you were blocked yeah. from it. You were blocked from his Facebook. Yeah. Page. No. Yeah. What? Wait, wow. Wow. I'm blocked from it. I thought you're blocked from it. No. What? They're having somebody go delete them right now. Can you pull up his Facebook page? Yes. Can on my phone or on the tablet? Or on I the... thought you were blocked from his Facebook. Gotcha, bitch. No, not... no, I can't pull up his Facebook. I can only pull up YouTube. You just I... said you could pull up his Facebook. Good God, woman. Get yourself together. Come on. Come on. Look, tortoise queen. Come on. Just between you and me, tortoise queen. And seriously, get some help. I, and I'm not saying that in a mean, nasty, humorous, joking, facetious way. Get some help. I mean, it's all over the place. I love these. That's what I'm saying. The YouTube ones, you know, are on YouTube because you see them there. Yeah. Yes. The Facebook ones, you're saying somebody gave them to you and yeah, told you. Yeah, I think there's only one. one or two of those. These, these are all from YouTube. Most of these are YouTube. Well, that's the thing is most, we're not going it, to, it, it's specific. He's, sir, I'm telling, they're his, they're his, they're, he, they're him posting them. I know you're saying they're All his. under what the hell's, his page, his channel. No one else can get to his channel and post. He has copyright things. He's got <sighs> everything blocked up so tight. Nobody right. could get in there and post Hell stuff on. other than him. Everything he's got is copywritten. And Hang on a second. <laughs> just, I can pull up his oh my God! He just said, "Hang on, hang on stop talking." They're all there. Hang on, we don't need to do that. Mr. Hales is right here. We can ask him straight out. <sighs> stress. Why? Why? Why do I have to have stress? What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> I don't deserve this stress. Bob Kirkman with the $5. I've been to Otter Creek. It really is a shit show. And she's got an outhouse, so it's a, it really is a shit show and a shithole. Or it's a, it's a shithole shit show right there. Thank you so much, Bob Kirkman. I land with the $5. Look, I've had legitimate composting toilet systems. Whatever she's doing is an offense to those systems. Why an outhouse shower if she's right by the road? Well, it could be behind. Oh, I hope to God it's behind her house so she doesn't subject the, the hundreds of cars driving down the road to that spectacle. Chris Clements with the two. Thank you so much. Should promote Hale's GoFundMe, MG Law Verified. Um, somebody got a link? You got a link, uh, you know, mods, mods uh, or somebody, you know, drop it in chat. These, because seriously, it's it's fun and games for us. There's nine, 911, there's, there's 911 of you. There's 911 worth of people here right now. For us, 911, this is amusing. This is fun. This is games. This is content for us creators. It, it's madness. It's silliness. It's, you know, it, it, shenanigans. But for the Hales, this is serious. This is their life. They've, they've sunk upwards of $100,000 into this. So, you know, while we're laughing and, and chuckling, giggling and being snarky and fun, it's tough for them. And so if, if you're 
I'm not saying to go go to their GoFundMe and uh, and don't say if that's your thing. Uh, we'll we'll put the link we'll put the link up here as as soon as we can. Uh, go go to it, check it out. If it's something that you're comfortable with, if you know if it's something you want to do, please by all means go ahead. Uh, I'm I'm not telling you to do it or st- telling you not to do it. I'm just putting it there for your your own personal decision making process. An unhung hero. She makes that bitch Carol Baskin look normal. Carol fucking Baskin. We're, I think we can get away with one f bomb an hour into it. Carol f and Baskin. Now I need to go make a sound clip for that. <laughs> Thank you, unhung hero. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, that's that puts us about twenty five, thirty, about thirty dollars away from pig dog game. Well, thank you, Rachel. Hope Bernstein Engelhart. Oh, Berenson. Berenson? Bernstein, sorry. Rachel Hope Bernstein Engelhart. Yeah, he calls John Septic Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Turtle Queen and Septic Boy. <laughs> I gotta re- I've gotta remember that. That I, I I see I see a new I see a new AI thumbnail incoming. Septic boy and turtle, septic septic boy and tortoise queen. Oh, there's definitely a, I definitely now have a new thumbnail idea. Every <laughs> single one of these are from his his page. I'm septic I boy. Shotted everything and then I printed it. Stand back, ma'am. Okay, this is a second. job for septic boy. It's contrary to what you said a few minutes ago. Oh wait a minute, she's contradicted herself, and the judge is like, what? Every single one of these are from his his page. I screenshotted everything and then I printed it. Whoa, okay. Um yes. Uh <coughs> that's what we call a lie. I can't access it. I can't access so someone sent these to me. That, that's what she said like two minutes ago. Someone sent these to me. And now she's saying, I I did it. I screenshotted all this and everything. And I printed it out. Now the judge is going to call her out. All right. Hang on a second. That's contrary to what you said a few minutes ago, which is the Facebook posts, which are lesser in number, were provided to yeah, you I'll by try, somebody I'll else. I'll try and see which ones that there is. Okay, well, hang on. Ma'am, I might be able to solve this whole problem. Florida Statute 9615 allows the court to call witnesses that are question witnesses. Mr. Hales is a witness. We can get to the bottom of it. I'm wondering at this stage and trying to determine at this stage if what you just handed me is going to be admissible now or subject to admissibility at a later point or not admissible at all. So let's just be really clear because there's a record being made here. You handed me a stack of pages. Mm-hmm. You don't have them numbered. They're not labeled. I, I would have to stop and we'll be here till six o'clock tonight labeling these. They're all in, they're all in, in order. This packet, and in this order are some Facebook posts and some YouTube posts mm-hmm. or screenshots. Yeah, I think some of which were handed to you by other people, those being the Facebook posts. Some of those you attesting to the fact that they're direct. Well, most of them What's stay on right YouTube? on them. YouTube. This one is Facebook. What the hails? Buy quick bites. Has Facebook marker on it. You can see Facebook. Come back later. All right, which means somebody gave it to you. Right. Okay. They sent it to me because right. it was All posted right. so on the Facebook. The this thing, to just hang on to these. They're under advisement. They're not yet admitted into evidence. Um, as to the YouTube posts, she's attested to. She's got personal knowledge. They're coming from the page attributed to Mr. Hales. Um, we can ask him the one question. Is he the administrator of that page? We'll get to that under 9615. The court can ask him that question. And under as to as it relates to the Facebook, since they were given to her and she has no access, we, we can clarify that at a, at a later stage if it becomes necessary. Yeah, I Just want to go back to the question of the alleged substantial emotional distress it's caused you yes. the record john objection asked and answered three times now i think <laughs> I, I don't know now see this is th- this is is finally mr feathers here fighting back a little bit I'm saying judge you've asked this damn question three times already i don't know that she's ever answered a question directly well that's her fucking problem 
If she doesn't answer it directly, you don't give her the benefit of that answer. You say, well, I, I, I guess uh, if, if you can't answer the question straight, I can't accept you as having actually answered the damn question. So part of it is problematic because I'm getting a run on explanation as opposed to a direct. And it, and it, I, I Cut her off. That is, well, what do you want me to say? Okay. I what do you want me to say? I now to deal with it. It's, it's making have, me fearful in my life. I have anxiety anyway, medical induced anxiety because of the medical issues I have. So uh, it's intensified my anxiety 100% because I don't know what's gonna happen next. I, I'm terrified of losing my rescue, which is my only legacy to my child. Um, well, I'm not worried about fish and game coming in and losing it. <laughs> what? A, yeah, good question, Judge. See, guys, the, he, he's back. He's lucid again. He's asking the question. Like, what do you? The, the the legacy of a couple of poor, unfortunate tortoises stuck in a metal tub in your backyard amidst broken glass and and outdoor showers and shitholes. Uh, what? 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 Ex explain exactly what this legacy you're leaving for your daughter is again, please thought it was it's not earning any money and it's a non-for-profit right i want but i want to leave her something that will keep her it having leave something her to do in her alone life. when i if i die and she's 20 years old or 18 years old on that property i've got it set that someone's going to come and take care of her but i want her to have something i want her to have something to love and to have from her oh mom. yeah and but, teach but you're her saying how to... that it's not it's not of value right now. <laughs> no, but it will be. I just became oh, uh. a 501c3 and I have been bombarded with bad reviews, with trouble. He went into Win Dixie and he, he told them a whole big story, a whole big lie. Speculation. No. Right. Yeah. I went to, I talked to the manager. <laughs> Speculation. No, yes. He okay. did. You're saying that Andy that would, that, made a video upon walking out of Winn Dixie that would, saying, that would be "Just hearsay. talk to the manager." Hang on. What he, what you what somebody told you is hearsay. What about the video that you did? You see the video that was I posted? saw the video myself. Okay. Do and you he walked have out that of Winn Dixie. Do you have that video? He's. I gave that. That was on. No, no. Do you have the video that I gave the corpse? Oh, the evidence thing. Those videos right. are gone. He's taken them down. There, we can't get to those videos anymore. What do you anymore. mean you gave them to the court? Yeah, you gave them to the court and they're gone because he took them down? D my God dang. Ju see, this? the judge is just being way too kind here. I mean, way too kind. You need to, to wrangle her in, get her focused on the damn question. You know, when she starts to wander, you got to rein her back in again. You know, just got got to herd her. You got you got to ride. You know, you got to ride around and herd her, push her in the right direction, get her through the cattle chute, and like nail a big branding iron on her ass. Uh, of course, she maybe she's into that. Uh, but you got to You got to rope her in. You got to you put her in the chute there so she stays focused. And judge, you got to grow. A, I mean, grow a pair, just flat out a pair, and then worry about how big they are and what they're made out of. Just grow a pair to begin with. Like, you're not answering the questions. You're just doing that. Come on, Judge. This is all your fault. Are they preserved somehow? Or are you and saying I a list? 300 some papers. I gave the court um, some evidentiary logs. Evidentiary logs? Wait, the... screen screenshots of what was on there? No, it was The court has no social media or, or video mm -hmm. or recordings. What the fuck is she talking about? helping me. Put together an evidentiary log here. And I gave these Wait, an evidence an evidentiary log that's a list of things of is videos. not the thing. I know, but this right. The, this well, I know too. That's why I'm asking you. Where's the thing itself, which is the video of? We can't be by the time I went to get them. Okay, they All were right. gone. Right. So the objection regarding he got what rid of the evidence. you may have seen, he got rid of the evidence. No longer available as a piece of because evidence. Because he got rid of the evidence because they were in here. Okay, I got. You. I, I don't believe you. Those. So he knew that I was going to use them and he got rid of them. He went into Win Dixie. He told them that I was throwing the food all over, and he admits it on his YouTube that he threw the, he went in there, told them that I was feeding the homeless, training them food for work, and that I was throwing meat trays and all this garbage on this dog, 
dead dog road Objection along with my baby diapers. Like, wait, you're... wait. Is that like actually the legit name for the road? Dead dog road? No, like, seriously, is that just like the legit name for that road? I just posted the uh, link. Thank you. Thank you, MG Law, for, for sending the link to the Go, GoFundMe. Again, If go check it out if that's your thing. If you want to do it, great. If you don't, great. Just, uh, you know, it's, it's entirely up to you. I'm just putting it there for your 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 knowledge and, and uh, use to see, you know, to use as you see fit. Pepper NC with the $5. Jeremy has filed a petition in federal court against Lynette and John Crook. Good for him. Good, good for him. And I hopefully we'll be able to catch up here. I know it's a nickname. Good people dump their trash and dead dogs. They're good. Thank you, Michael Martin. <laughs> Cause I was, you know, I just, it could be, I was hoping it was a nickname because I'd be like, you know, like, rotten, rotten carcass gulch in that, that sort of thing. All right. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for pointing that out. Pepper NC appreciate that. And we'll, we'll slowly catch up and, and you know, we, we should be current here in a while. Oh, dead dog road. <laughs> we were the corner. We, we were the dog corner. Like our, our, the corner of our house is where everybody would drop off their dogs. We were this corner, this corner house in the middle. Wait, of the no, I saw the video myself. But I that you don't it. have anymore. So you're, re, you're you're reporting to me something that you saw on a media well, that you don't have or not is no. Well, and that exotic arc went. And how do I get you to understand <laughs> that he went into Win Dixie and he ended my contract with them and lost me the what? contract? Well, there's other garbage. ways to do that by like the person in Win Dixie. Yeah. We talk to him yep. or maybe call him as a witness. Yep. He admits to it. I, I don't know. But well, if we can, if we end up continuing this, I will problem. call him as a witness, the manager. I will call her as a witness, definitely. Well, I don't know that we're continuing this. That may be an issue we're getting. The Tater Peeler Road. We just, we back in my old hometown, we have the dirt road, even though it was paved over about 20 years ago. Where he says that he went into Win Dixie and got and ended that. Okay. So I'm not no longer feeding the homeless the garbage. Oh, no. Oh it's, God! Here's, here. here's something else. Hang on a second, because you're adding. There's because this there's is so potential big. Potential defamation and or slander and or yep. nuisance, harassment, and or a whole lot of things that this court is not. It here. All there's goes, not a pleading for a lawsuit no. for damage. Yeah, see, if she's got all these damages and all this slander, she needs to file a completely separate lawsuit. This is this is just for her. You know, protective order restraining or whatever they call it but we we do have a quick uh, development here and i'm i'm actually going to speed this up a little bit because i'm i'm behind uh i've got 45 minutes before we have to start the next show and uh we've got a little bit more than that left in this hearing so i need to shut up and just talk over it and stop pausing like i'm doing now but i did want to mention that d what has gifted five legal vices memberships if you got one of those d what memberships please Please give D. What a super special shout out. Thank you so much, D. What appreciate your generosity and your continued support for the show. And we've got 988 concurrent viewers here and 583 likes. Uh, that is super awesome, but uh, nowhere near what we need. Get down there, hit that like button. We need to get at least 600. That that triggers the YouTube algorithm. That al the elbow rhythm, the algorithm that seems to be the number they like. Right about 600 is where they start going. Hey, there's something happening here right now. Go check it out. So hit that up. Let's get up that that number. And also, uh, Volpe Fox. Uh, per, per, purdy mouth boulevard. <laughs> you, you got you got a purdy mouth boulevard. Uh, and the the guy that said that the guy the guy that had that line like you got a purdy mouth. He just died like two weeks ago. That that that, that dude did. Uh, but we've also reached that point in the show where thanks to your super generosity and amazingness, it's that part that we like to call release the hounds. And today we have strawberry here with us. Strawberry strawberry heard the treat. Uh, I think Yoda fell asleep in the other room. So we got to give give Strawberry her treat, her her bully stick, her her dried bull penis. Uh, all right, there you go. There you go, baby. Here you go, baby. Eat that thing. You go get it. All right. We we thank you so much for unleashing the doggo cam achievement. Uh, I said Yoda's, I guess, asleep on the sofa. If Yoda ever comes, we'll... We'll just let it go. All right. So let's dive back into this. Uh, all right. Let's go.
damages, intentional interference with a business operation, tortious interference with a business contract. I want him to stop cyber stalking me I, and I using the internet saying. to kill me. Oh my God. Has he ever threatened physical harm to you? Um, I have I have one of these screenshots that says that he's going to stand outside with his family across the street from my property and aiming AK-47s at my home. Yes. What? Okay. I take that Can as you a... you show me that one? Yes. Jeremy, I hope you didn't say that. I hope you didn't say we're going to stand outside our house and point AK-47s at you. I hope you didn't say that. There's been a tank, a grenade launcher. He said what? that the town of Otter Creek twice. He said that the town of Otter Creek was going to lynch me by my neck. Oh my God, my don't. Okay. What, what is he saying he's going to do? Or is he asking the town? Does he have control over the town? He goes to the town meetings and is very in, in control of the town. Yeah. Yes, he is. They're best friends. The mayor of our town and him are best friends. You said you had a post or you saw a post where he's saying he's going to stand with AK-47. Yeah, I got it. It's, I'm, that's okay. what I'm looking for. It's in one of these right here. I'm just trying to see which one it was in. Uh, uh, it's a matter of finding it. A little, little bit of foundation here. Show it. Show it. You know, hurry up. If there wasn't so many of these, there wouldn't be a problem. If we weren't on, his, if you hadn't screenshotted right, so much shit, the there wouldn't be a problem. Me. Evil turd, psychopath, lazy. Yeah, you've, already, you've already testified to that. Know, the piece sorry. that we're looking for. If I'm trying to it. find it, it's here. I'll stand here and look for it because I have it. I brought it on purpose. Matter of fact, I brought it loose. I brought it as loose. He's got a grenade launcher and a tank, and he got on his own little private army back there. You do have that one though, because I sent that with the 300 pages. Oh my God. You have it, Judge. You find it. A page. From his from and, his video. And you're saying, can you show Mr. Feather the page that you're pointing to? Or you're from his video where he said he was going to set a patrol up across the street from my property with AK 47s, his family, to protect his family from us. Oh, that's he was, different. Another one he said he was going to dig. That's different. Saying I, I've got AK 47s and I'm going to protect my family is a lot different than saying me and my family are going to go out and we're going to point our guns at you. I have another one, the one that says the bye, Felicia, going to be gone forever. Wow. It's all here. It's, all here. it's continual every day. All right, and you're saying I'm, I'm, what you handed not, to the court, hang on, what you handed to the court is a, is a screenshot yep. of that portion of his video. YouTube, YouTube video? Yes. <laughs> And you saw that on the YouTube page? Yes. Of what the hails? Yes. And what does it say? It's part of the transcript. So what you handed to the court says, it starts with, he's getting worse with the violent ideation and threatening fantasies. Yeah, she wrote so that in there. Who would Mr. Hales be talking about? That's not him talking at that part. It's what? Never sent it to me. Or is it me? Well, I got to look at it in order to see it. Oh my God! Hang on. Hang on. What the hell is happening it here? Off with he's getting worse with violent ideation. I got it right here. Yeah, she was doing transcripts for me. So Who is she? She wrote. I have it. For me, Lizzie wrote. Um, Li Who the fuck is Lizzie? So she told All right. me. All right. what it was well, about. hang on, hang on. Then. What I is going on? The words. The words he's getting worse with violent ideation and threatening fantasies. Those words are attributed to who? To him. No. Who's who, why would he call himself he? That's like weird. Who the fuck him. wrote that? This was written up for me by uh, a lady that I know. All right, so she how can all the videos. hang on, let's back up. How can somebody who writes something up for you then post it on his YouTube? No. No. She took this is a, this is right. his Let's stop. It's the transcript. This, she wrote that she. Welcome <laughs> to the world of LP. This page, I'm going to mark it so that we're all. Who the fuck is Lizzie? It becomes part of this record. It's in the video called. Petition. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm calling this petition. I know. Number one. It Don't give me this circular argument crap. Lizzie is the friend who transcribed the videos, but who is Lizzie? Well, Lizzie's the friend. What friend? The friend that transcribed it. Transcribed what? Don't don't run me in circles like this. What is happening? 
look, this is how this is how weirded out I am. My my voice has gone up like an octave. <clears throat> oh my god, the, the tightness, the, the tightness in my throat. Uh, 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 okay, there we go. <clears throat> gotta 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 bring the voice back down to where it belongs. Oh my god, what is happening here? Lizzie is Lizzie. Jeff, keep up. <laughs> Okay, Volpe Fox, I'll, I'll try to keep up. Tracy Fagan with the $5. I don't understand. If there's a TRO in place from Ohio, then why does she need one too? No, this is the one in Ohio is it w- was uh, for the Hales against her. She's getting one against Hales. So it's kind of a, it's a tit for tat. And I hate saying the word tit where she's involved uh it's it's a it's give and take it's re, it's reciprocal it's it's a it's a revenge thing you know, he she she seems to uh, be trying to do this because he got one against her so they're trying to get restraining orders against each other he has one she's trying to get one against him what what the hell is going on here for identification so that we know what we're talking about. stream has gone straight. In the video called Upcoming Town Meeting in Otter Creek, O-D-E-E-R. Hey, Flux. Okay. So the words on the page that you handed to me, which we're now calling the page Petitioners going on? Exhibit 1 for Identification, not yet in evidence, may not go into evidence unless and until the court rules otherwise. That page contains words that start with, and I'm going to the full paragraph, he's getting worse with violent ideation, etc. Those are the words of some other person that you know. <laughs> who is it? Who supposedly transcribed words she's attributing to him? Yeah, I have the transcript. Okay, that's what we call hearsay. No, she she wrote down what she was doing was telling me where to look. So I'm so supposed to watch. accept somebody who's not here that they transcribed accurately and interpreted accurately. Ma'am, that's hearsay. Then I guess we'll have to get a continuance so I can find the video somewhere. No, you said you were ready to go. No, Biatch, you said you were ready to go. All right, so it's at this stage, it is not admitted into evidence. Big Daddy Sister-in-Law, I'm ever 10 months. Thank you so much. I cannot even imagine talking to a judge the way she does, interrupting him, talking over him, basically yelling. It's amazing. Then it's not admitted into evidence. That's fine. The testimony you said about him threatening harm. It's on the video. She was telling me where it was. Where's the goddamn? All right. Where, where, where is the gall danged intercoursing video? Don't say it's on the video. Where is the video? It's on that thing, but it's on the thing, but I don't know where it is. But so I'll have to get a continue. Oh my lord. People in the in the what the hails community, I've decided that I hate you. <laughs> I decided I hate each and every one of you for for pulling me into whatever this nightmare is. Oh my lord. Oh my god, what is going on here? <sighs> oh, so she screenshotted what it said exactly. Do you have and put the her video? words above it, huh? Do you have the video. I, I mean, I could probably pull it up on his channel if it's still there. I can look on his own Facebook or his own YouTube and see if that that video is still there. It might be, might be one that's still there. What would it take you to know whether it's there or not? Two seconds. I can Why don't you just ask him, Judge? He's he's right there. But chances are, Jeremy's right there. Ask gone. him if it's still on his site. Are been are not there any longer. <laughs> I hate you. I hate all of you. Just understand that I haven't. There's also argument to the weight, even if it's an it's it's still. I, I don't know. This is the things that he does on his videos that gets these fans all hatred towards us. Right, but what I'm saying is the word <laughs> angel shines the fifth time I've seen this. I can't stop watching. From his own video. Is there a video? Yes, I'm looking for it right now. Okay, there there is a video. She agrees. There's a video. That's good. That's a start. Camera. Might be proper inquiry. She ever seen the video? She said that she's on, she's scared because of what this person told no, her. No, I've video. seen the video before it was taken down. I watched the video just because. Oh, hang on a second. You said you said you saw it before it was taken down, but you're looking to see if it's. Uh, yeah, I'm smelling burnt <laughs> toast. When when, right, most of these when we I ha, I got sick this week, so I had a jaw that was this big. Two days ago, it was the size of a freaking big old lump right here on my face. I have an What? 
So I haven't had a chance to really grab all this. We all like you, though, but I get it. Just imagine. We've been on since the beginning. I went and looked for the majority of these videos. They're not. Oh, my God. How is this judge just not telling her to shut the absolute? How How is the judge just just not shut the fuck up? They're gone. So, but I haven't had a chance to look at every single one. The ones that I gave. The, right. So what you're really saying is removed a lot you of believe videos. it might have been taken down, yes. but you don't know for sure. Right. But you just said, despite that really being your feeling that it was taken down, right but you here. don't really know. Right here. Is it there? Yeah, but the, the Scottish judge. Okay. And what does the video? I'd have to give it to you, to somebody to watch. Yeah. Because it's in there about the AK-47s. Well, let's why don't you stand over here, Mr. Feather, if you want to approach too. If you can hit play, let's take a look and see what it is. Oh, God. It's his video. Well, Sir, look at him. It, no, it's a lie. It's yeah, a lie. He's responsible because the, the statute includes communicate or cause to be communicated. And when Mr. Hales testifies, he can explain the structure of how many people, if any, control. Okay, this is funny. Oh my God, this is this is so childish, but I, I, I literally have zero authority to, to to criticize someone for being childish. This it's terrible slash great, Jeremy. There's a bunch of addicts on the turtle farm. I'm gonna all right. We got we gotta fast forward this or we're never gonna get done. That's hilarious. Some, some firearms. Yeah. <laughs> okay, forgot. We're watching that because he's threatened the AK-47 her to death. He's like, can you just tell me when? <laughs> if ever it gets to any threats of use of firearms. Can you can you tell me when, if ever it gets to any threats of the use of firearms? Oh, geez, this is this is. Oh, oh my God, I'm broken. Oh, I'm gonna have to go find that video and and play that. That is hilarious. That's all. So, Mr. Feather, do you hear? We have. Uh, we'll have AK 47s pointed there all the time. Where's there? We should have both families line up and we can have AK 47s pointed at them the whole time. He wow. says that right after we have to be afraid mm. of them and allegedly because we're attributed to the fact that there's alleged crackheads, meth heads camped out there illegally. It was all lies. It was one camp. Ma'am, hang on. 
I'm just going <laughs> to see, I want the record to reflect what those statements were. We have to be afraid oh my God, of Mr. Hales on that video from that YouTube being presented saying we, meaning he and whoever else has to be afraid. For his okay, that actually was not a smart thing for him to say. Close in proximity. We should have both families line up and we'll have <clears throat> AK-47s pointed at them the whole time. I'm not saying that's against the law or anything, but that's words. Yeah. That, right at this point, those are the words. That yeah, it's saying. not It's not a smart thing to say regardless. Do you disagree? I didn't. I wasn't paying attention, honestly, Judge. All right. <laughs> so what the court heard and what the court's going to find is Mr. Hale saying, yes. we have to be afraid of them. We should have both families line up and will, like we will, have AK-47s pointed at them the whole time. Objection relevance. I don't know what that has to do with what we're here on today. What? Well, no, it's relevant. The impact of somebody with thousands of tens of thousands of followers may be causing to be communicated certain messages. Um, that's that's the relevance exactly of Exactly my so, point. Ma'am, um, um, settle down, woman. So the objections overruled. The court would so find that that video clip is currently posted to his YouTube YouTube page and includes the phrase that Mr. Hale, and he can explain what it means or what it doesn't mean. It could mean we really are so afraid that we're going to defend ourselves against them and we're going to need AK-47s to defend ourselves. Whatever it is, the words are, okay, we well, have let, to be afraid of them. We should Now let, let him explain his side, up, Judge. We'll have AK-47s pointed at them the whole time. I think that goes to the basis for the injunction in Ohio that was related to them pulling guns on them and making threats. No guns were pulled on him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I'll ask this. Sorry. Sorry. What was that for? No, I'm saying it, there's lots of arguments to make to the weight of it, but nonetheless, those are the words that are part of this record and what they mean. That this yeah, they're going to have to explain what they mean, and uh, we're we're kind of running short here on time. We got about 20 minutes left, uh, so I'm going to skip about blah. Uh, I'm going to skip about 15 minutes of this. I'm sure it's just more crazy because I want to see the end of this. <laughs> I want to see the end. So we're, we're, we're skipping about 15, 16, 17 minutes here. Oh, dear. But why? Why why are you buffering? Why? Ex explain yourself. Why, why are you buffering? Damn you. Damn you all the hell. All right. Time for a quick refresh, I guess. Hang on. What's that? We're at the 129 mark. <laughs> Patience, baby is smarter than me. <laughs> That's a great place to start. <laughs> oh, so this one is sad because it even says that patience, baby is smarter than me. It says pebbles is smarter than me. I'm a disgrace. All right, so let's let's focus up here a second. Um, oh. I just want to get a sense of where we're going here because council is clearly um, agitated, having the opportunity. Well, council get, it gets the opportunity to cross-examine you and to present evidence. Oh dear! Um, yeah. And we're at four thirty-seven. We're not going to go beyond five o'clock. Um, I'm not going to hold court staff or the courthouse open beyond that. We've got to continue this. You've referred to and have shown now, Mr. Feather, some oh video God. items of evidence of an evidentiary value. Um, I haven't had you play those, but they <laughs> may be relevant because the one that you did play, the court found at least part of it to be relevant. Um, and so I don't want to deprive you of the opportunity to present all your evidence, but it appears, and uh, Ms. Preston, you got to tell me if I'm wrong, that you may be kind of towards the end of concluding your testimony, but maybe yeah, please hurry. You should have time to present the well, videos. I would like, yes, I would like you to see the video that was made um, after the Ohio hearing, and it was just made last week, okay. about a week ago. John you, was walking in front of our property. And you have that saved how? On, on your computer? On my computer okay. and on my phone. Okay, and you showed that to Mr. Feather? Yes. Okay. John's walking on the front of our property, measuring our property because we, we we don't know what to do. We got to put up a barrier. We got to stop this. I got you. We're willing to do anything. So, so he's walking. Jeremy, when he comes out of his driveway, he can see if people are in front of my house on the road. Right, he me, could go out to the left 
ma'am. To the I'm left, not, to I'm the left. I'm you the ability to testify. So hang okay. on just a second. Here. The video is very pertinent to what's going on. I'm going to give you a chance to display them. But we're get on with it. To yes, get on with it. I am enjoying this scene. Get on with it. <laughs> You've been counsel of record for, well, less than, I know less than 30 days, but maybe two weeks. I think if I'm given the chance to show what I have. You're I being given the chance right now, you cowbag. Me and my family so we can go on with our lives. I'm going to give you that opportunity. I know. But I don't think that you're going to play it now and this court's going to rule because they have a right to cross-examine no, and present evidence. I know. So, um, and we're, you know, 20 minutes before the close of, of a business day here. And, and, um, and quite frankly, to some extent, and Mr. Feather, I'm just, that's why I'm just looking here. A couple things. One, you've been provided with, I don't know that you're arguing prejudice, but you've been provided evidence that you didn't have before you walked in here today. I know we took a break that allowed you to do so. You've had a chance to hear her testimony, but without subject to cross Hey, Megan, what's up? Your own testimony. I'm, I'm, I, I'm Just broken. We've got to take a break and reconvene. I would not oh, discourage gosh. and maybe would. Why do we? If we need to do so and we do. Why do we have to reconvene? We have to reconvene because you let this absolute insane cowbag ramble on for two goddamn hours without letting defend without without letting Hale's counsel cross examine or say anything. You just let her ramble on like there's no goddamn tomorrow. That's why this is being delayed, not because of anything that Hales is doing. It's because you. Oh my God! That you engage in conversation with Miss Preston and see if there's a resolution you guys could work out based on your advantage. Your disadvantage is you and your client got to come back. Your advantage is you might be able to open up some line of communication to get a resolution. Oh, do you parties, think so? Other than the court adjudicating. What what, what what what's the chance of them so being able to talk about the injunction that prohibits her from communicating with Mister? Hales, or that, you? That's yeah, why I said that obligation. You, you on Mister Hales' behalf. I don't think she can. She can use me to communicate with him according to Ohio's law. Correct. Oh. I don't believe she can. I I think I brought a copy. I did a notice of filing. I have a copy with me. Uh, that the, but I don't think she can. I don't think she's allowed to, that has anything to, uh, in to have contact I, well, with I Mr. Need, Hale. I need to see a copy of that. I'll take. I'll. I'll evaluate that, and I can contact. I can contact the judge there to get them to carve out an exception to allow counsel outside the presence of your client to be able to, on your client's behalf to talk to Ms. Preston for communicating Janice in Wingfield with two dollars Linux turtles are smarter than her. This is the this is the final <laughs> thank judgment. you. This is the final judgment. I didn't notice the file in this case the court made aware of that. Uh, uh, I'm not because it's not imaged yet. All right we're 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 coming we're we're coming here we're like 12 minutes from the end we're we're coming up on it here with the the rant is incoming I see uh Volpe thought Fox is Purdy Mouth Boulevard we 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 mentioned that already uh okay we mentioned that got to make sure we we don't uh, see we got that one uh, 10 gauge cheesehead love checking in on these lives can't wait until the weekend so I can listen to all of the full videos in the semi glad you Glad you picked up this story. I regret picking up this story. I don't deserve this. What have I done? I hate all of you Hales people. Why? Why are you doing this to me? This right now, right now, I sort of feel like Malcolm McDowell at the end of Clockwork Orange, where I'm just strapped to a chair and my eyes are propped open and I'm uh, having to watch this crap. Vince Vince Glor, though. It's Jane Doe on steroids. Sort of J2. Thank you. And Janice Wingfield again. Lynette's turtles, Lynette's turtles are smarter than her. Oh, God. Um, we filed that uh, prior to the hearing today, and it is the the uh, final judgment of injunction or what they call a, a uh, protection order in Ohio. And it's far more, uh, a little, quite a bit far further reaching than than Florida's. <laughs> Megan's making the turtle purgatory in Legos. Where, where do you think the line? Okay, maybe. Yeah, it was easier to get. 
I mean, Actually, a little harder. Broad under subsection seven, not initiate <laughs> or have contact with protected persons named in the order where their okay. business is. Can't talk to his, can't talk to the protected person, which is hails. Forthcoming for your honor's consideration. I'm sorry. I expect there will be a contempt motion forthcoming for your honor's consideration. Oh. In relation to the violation of this no contact pursuant to Florida statute seven four one point three one five. Your honor, we've made no contact, and any contact that's been made. Well, wait a second. Why Mr. would it be coming to to me? Under Florida Statute 741.1315, you would be the appropriate court to hear the violation under the, the turtle guitari is born. Orders, the statute and full faith and credit under. Yes, the, you should have full faith and credit. The, the judge should just automatically, by default, recognize, accept, and enforce the Ohio order. United States Constitution. Wait, wait, wait. You, but you're saying based on conduct that I'm not aware of just yet, Correct. other than me suggesting you can communicate with her. Well, I think. But um, there is other conduct, Judge. It hasn't been filed. We were hoping to put this bed, baby to bed today and uh, and let these people go on about their lives. That was kind of our prayer, but it looks they, afraid they, we may they, not they be could, headed that they way. They could go on, on with their lives with an injunction or without an injunction is the issue. If you wanted to adjudicate it on its merits, yeah, I, I don't want to deny anyone a chance to be heard. And I, I'm grateful for that, Your Honor. We You're arrived kinda... at one. I think we started being heard about three. We indicated right. very, uh, very early on that we weren't interested in the continuance of this case. Right. They don't like want to continue it. They want to get it that. done today. I, when I agreed to represent Mr. Hale, well, between one and three, I, so we would have been, so we could have heard your case first. Yes. And we still wouldn't be done with it. And we would have about what were there. I think we would be judged. the 25, 30 other people that would have been waiting for their case. Sorry. That's the way I called the court docket. Your Honor, I mean, I, I'm not come on. To, you know, suggesting the, Court should do anything other than it's done, except that we really wanted to have this case resolved today so that these people, she needs peace, Judge. Mr. Hales and his wife need peace. All right, so what do you expect in terms of her playing those videos? Is going to take us, what, 30 more minutes? That's her goddamn fault. I got the opportunity to cross examine her, and we. It, yeah, it may become you the unnecessary. Law that we could have walked home 30 minutes ago. Let him cross examine. Oh, the judge didn't like that. <laughs> They don't want me so to have you're my saying right in 30 more minutes him. we can resolve this. Not my, now. My belief was if I had the opportunity to examine this this How much time petitioner. Do you need to cross -examine? I think about 15 minutes probably. And how much time do you think she needs to play the videos that she showed you or or the other thing that the court could do? I mean that's what the court did in Strober versus Harris the court Receive all the videos and said the court would review them later. I, I um, smell burnt toast. Is this a problem? With the hearing, instead promising in light of the initial evidentiary objections to review all of the video material before making a decision. We're talking, I don't remember in that case if it was dozens or hundreds of hours. Um, we could do that here. This is a case that is not your run of the mill. I think we resolved. Five cases in an hour and a half, maybe six. I don't know. Um, sometimes I resolve 10 in less than an hour. This is not one of those kinds of cases. Well, I think it could be. If you'd you let him. You an opportunity to examine the witness, <laughs> maybe or maybe not present the testimony of the other witnesses that are familiar with the situation, and then do uh, look at the law. The law is very clear. Your Honor asked the questions. They weren't answered. The, the, there's right. no substantial emotional distress, which is what's required. It has to be. And it, there's no competent substantial evidence to support that. We can end that Nancy, dream now. Nancy, are you from Australia? Yeah, I'm a facial case from her testimony, not yet subject to cross-examination, okay. that she's basically paralyzed in her own home, does not feel safe, can't leave the property, needs to use whatever tools within her capacity to board it up and to blockade it from other people hundreds of them at times videotaping her on a daily basis that she's suffering from an exacerbation of a prior condition of anxiety that she's currently now in therapeutic intervention and seeking assistance for that, mm -hmm. that it's persistent, that it's ongoing and that it's perceived as being threatening to her safety and the safety of her family. So that's what she said. Now one could argue Oh, some ordinary person would just blow this off and get her off, get on with their life. Let him, let him cross-examine her. That'll help. I mean, we'll, 
we'll let him cross examine her and you can resolve this argument about that and i've read the cases you sent me ahead of time and you know what one was domestic one was stalking the domestic has a footnote that the stalking is part of domestic and so they analyzed it that way I, I'm, I'm with you i i know but it doesn't deny and should not deprive for the ability to present it. And I'm just not going to have my clerks wait here till after five o'clock and my court security. Well, then you need a little better time management judge. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. In Ohio. And, 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 and here's another thing. The court's concerned by, by doing so there's not a temporary injunction in place. So there's, there's no, there's no there is, intermediate. Judge. There's a permanent injunction in place. In another court. Yeah. Yes. She can't come near him. He'll right. be okay. So there's so no how such did, thing in Florida. How did the video happen the other day? Ma'am, ma'am, there's no such thing as a mutual injunction, but there's right. there's a such thing as people having independent injunctions considered on their own merits. The, 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 the standard of law in Ohio is preponderance of evidence. The standard here is a little higher, competent, substantial evidence. Um, May I say something that's pertinent to what you're talking about? He was asked. Shut up. Tell her to shut up. You're, this is Can why you can't this get this is why you can't get a 30 minute hearing done in two hours, Judge, because you let this freaking cow bag ramble on like an insane something that's insane. <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm, I'm order between you two. Both. He said no. He said no. Because then he couldn't be able to do what he's doing to me. Right. Which is which is why Florida law has a statutory provision. There's no such thing as mutual injunctions. However, there is, rare as it may be, injunctions one person has against one person and another person against the same person. But they have to independently be evaluated on the merits of whether there's confidence substantial evidence to support entry of the, of the final judgment. Somebody's uh, drinking in court. I heard I glasses clinking. serious that could be. You, you want to cruise through this cruise you know, through we're, it we're not going to do that to the to the we're crawling through this like it's made of fucking project. tar from the la brea the tar pits from. and i wanted to present and uh, deny her the ability to present those ev the evidence how yeah. ma'am how long are the videos they're like 30 minutes each. okay 30 minutes 15 minutes which is never going to be 15 30 we're going to be here till 6 6 30 at, at earliest we're going to we're going to have to reconvene there's, there's just just no option around that oh my god if you had if you had Mr. kept Nelson, her in line I think if you want quick justice you're not going to get justice at all and if you want to spend six or eight months in an appellate court process you, you, you could end up with that or we could hear the whole case and allow the court to make a determination on the merits of this case and it could result in, in, in an injunction or not I mean, what your lawyer's saying is it's going to it's going to result in a quick and speedy resolution with a dismissal. I, I guess he's predicting what I'm going to do. Oh, you're butt hurt because another That's judge. It. You're butt hurt because another judge is presumed that you're going to do your fucking job. Hypothesis without basis. Um, the power of Christ compels you. Can we take the witnesses that are present in the courtroom so that they won't be inconvenienced again, Your Honor? We have the mayor of Otter Creek present. The mayor? Her husband. They They're calling like the testify. mayor? Can we do that in light of the limited time that we have available so that they won't have to return and be inconvenienced? They're going to be five-minute witnesses? Very brief. Probably not. Now, You're going to have a pro se litigant try to engage in cross-examination? Not even. Well, that's the pro se litigant's questions. fucking problem. I think I'm sorry, I'm cursing works. a lot. Since this case is so In, in time, it will work. Yes, in time. Appointed. It takes time. Oh my God! You're trying. You're trying to railroad it through. I, I, no, I Your Honor, I'm not that. trying to. Railroad He's not it trying either. to railroad it through. You fuckwit! It's you being a dumbass up there on that bench, fucking around for the last two hours, letting this woman ramble on incessantly about completely irrelevant shit that's got nothing whatsoever to do with these proceedings. And then you, you said, and you're taking it out on him because he's been asking for the last 45 minutes just to be allowed to, to cross examine her for 15 goddamn minutes. You got the mayor sitting in the back there and his wife waiting to testify probably about what a complete nut job she is and how big of a pain in the ass she is at all the city hall meetings. And you're just trying to find bullshit reasons not to. The reason she's not prepared is because she's not fucking prepared. She, she had absolutely every opportunity to do this. The fact she's not doing it is her problem. It is completely on her. She said she is ready to go 
today. She doesn't want to, she said her witnesses aren't important. She doesn't, she said she doesn't need what's on that thumb drive. I'm ready to go without it, she said. Now you're giving her all these opportunities to do this. Judge, you need to knock this shit off. Yeah, Trying well, to convince these witnesses, witnesses who've been witnesses. waiting four hours to testify. And I've been doing what in the past four hours? Fucking around. Adjudicating the merits of about six other litigants times two, because there's two in each case. Some were served, some were not served. Understood. With witnesses, some without witnesses, some with supporters, not with supporters. I don't know when we started, how many people were here? 25 or 30? Am I don't get testimony. brazen with me. Back? No, I'm not. I'm but completely cognizant of it. You guys want to come back on a Saturday or Sunday? I'll be here on a Saturday or Sunday. You want to come back at midnight? We'll be Let's back do at midnight. it. Let's I'm not do it. Put my clerks through that or my court security through that. I'm just suggesting well, that we could convenience that? the witnesses by taking their testimony now, Your Honor, if the court would consider that. You know, you'll come back at midnight, but you but you won't let the court clerk hang around there till five fifteen. That the request has been. Oh, eat my ass, Judge. It, 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 it's mind boggling. Yeah, you're mind boggling. Am I allowed at I all like to get a, a court appointed lawyer in something no. like this? No, shut up. It's not a criminal case. There's no. I sound like a 12 year old. No, right you're this way. There's not a right to court appointed counsel. Oh my God. And I'm sorry that I'm not an attorney. Want to come you back should tomorrow? be. Let's come back at nine o'clock. Cancel what I got. I would note that the petition is not properly sworn. Does that matter to the court? Does it matter to the court? It matters in all good time, in all due time, at the appropriate time, if you're making motions. I move to judge. dismiss the petition because it's not properly sworn. Yes, right now he can do that right now. At 9 o'clock. And if it's granted, we'll all go home at 9.15. Can I ask what that means? It means you didn't sign the fucking thing like you were supposed to, you dumb cow. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not considering adjudicating okay. a legal matter. Without right, I, didn't, I just don't know proper that. argument. Oh my god, support. And I have a doctor tomorrow, but so everybody's got something to do tomorrow. So, are we reconvening at nine o'clock? Apparently, not. Fine. Oh, I have a doctor's no, appointment, but I'll cancel it. <clears throat> Mr. Hales is having to address matters in Ohio court related to this situation. He has to be there tomorrow morning, he has a flight. Well, She's got a doctor's appointment. He's, He's got a flight. Why don't we reach out and see what they can do to accommodate us? So in, in fact, it, we're not going to have it tomorrow because of Mr. Hale's I have other calendar as well, Your Honor. So, Judge okay, Ross. so your calendar and his calendar take priority over the court calendar, which I'm willing to change to accommodate. <laughs> I want the record to reflect I'm here to accommodate these litigants and these witnesses to resolve this case. Oh, you are not. If it can't be done you tomorrow, are not. You're asking for a continuance beyond tomorrow. I'll grant that. But I don't want anyone to be misled into thinking I'm shirking my responsibility to adjudicate this case on its merits. You kind of are. Yeah, we would be grateful to stay as long as it takes. You're missing the point. No, for God. It's not about you and me. We have other participants in this. In this yes. Okay. Our court staff. Well, sometimes staff, shit security. happens and you so go over time. I'm shutting it down in about six minutes. But you'll drag him in on a Saturday or you'll drag him in on a Sunday. You'll drag him in at midnight, but you won't let him stay till 515. Come back. We're going to do it next Wednesday at one o'clock, the sixth. If you have a calendar conflict, you've got a week's time to make a change in your calendar. Fine with me, Your Honor. We'll be back here Wednesday, December 6th at 1 p.m. We stand adjourned. Well, that's the end. I guess they're coming. That's the infamous December 6th thing that's coming up. Now, I, I've, I've, I've seen some controversy there about whether or not they uh, they they agreed whether or not there's any agreement whether there's any problem with the sixth. The judge just kind of did say, you know, that we're going to do this next Wednesday, uh, you know, December sixth. We're doing this, and the Jeremy's lawyer, you know, Feather Feather did not say, okay, that sounds like a great time to me, but. At the same time, he didn't object to it either. 
He did. He didn't. He didn't object to it. So, I think there could be an agreement, but uh, I hear it's a. It's I hear it's a point of contention for a big chunk of hearing number two. Uh, so we'll we'll get to hearing number two next, and we'll we'll see if we can resolve that. But I have finally seen the origin story for Judge. He's finally gone evil. He's finally joined the dark side. So I, I, I get, uh, I get what y'all are saying about that now. So, so the, the kind, sweet little innocent man who's just trying to be helpful has left the building. Judge, judge grudge has, has assumed his role. He's wielding his gavel with, as the, as the, the, the symbol of his disdain and madness, as I put in the description. Uh, right. We're going to move on to hearing number two tomorrow. Wow. Uh, and and uh, this is the first one. <laughs> so I'm I'm assuming because we're at what number five now that they don't get better as time goes by. Uh, we got a few super chats here and then we're going to roll straight on over to the Hannah Gutierrez read trial. Everything's locked and loaded to send you over there automatically, but I don't want to miss any of these things because you guys are so awesome with your support. We've got 985 people here, 735 likes. Please hit that like button while I'm reading through these super chats. And if you haven't subscribed, I would just be so grateful if you would do me the honor of subscribing to my channel, coming back here and uh, checking us out. It's free. It doesn't cost you a dang thing, and it benefits me, and it makes you feel good and warm and fuzzy inside, almost like you're rescuing a barrel of tortoises. Jay Z with a five dollars. Thank you so much. Had my neck appointment. Had had to have an EKG, and I'm tar- tachycardic and have to wear a heart monitor. Bet it's going nuts right now. But love you and the pups. It's all worth it. Yeah, I started to smell burnt toast there for a while, so I was worried about myself. Unhung hero Lynette has officially broken Jeff. Yeah, uh, her and the judge. I, they they're on my last damn nerve. Uh, what what the f y k? What the feek? <laughs> says Rick Nikita. Thank you so much. Shannon Carter, thank you for the $10 support. That is very, very, very gracious of and very, very meaningful. Thank you so much. What do you think she gets for a lap dance then and now? Uh, no, Vins, I'm 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 not even gonna not even gonna go there, but in my mind I've already gone there, but I'm just not gonna drag it out anymore. <clears throat> oh god. Uh, Cherry, what's up, Cherry? Good morning, sunshine. Well, good morning to you. What a way to wake up. Yeah, I open my eyes and hear her because you didn't sign it, you mad cow. <laughs> She's a cow bag. Uh, that's for, that's a saying a, that uh, has, has been made famous by Steph the Alter Nerd, who has a great channel as well. She calls everybody cow bags, and I, I've just kind of co-opted that. <sighs> Thank you so much. Good morning to you, Cherry. I'm glad we could make your morning exciting. All right, guys, we are done here with the hails for the day. Oh, God, I need another drink. I'm, I need a nice super strong cigar to relax and we'll watch the Hannah Gutierrez read trial. You should be fed over there automatically. If you're not, uh, there's going to be a little blue box that says something's going on over in legal vices channel. Click here to find out what it is. Then click on that and you should go over there. If that doesn't work, then just find my channel on YouTube and go over there manually. This is the, the defense is going to be putting on their entire case today. We're going to watch the entire defense case. And then we're going to watch closing arguments, and we could have a verdict in the Hannah Gutierrez Reed trial by today, by the end of the day today. She's the one that's on trial for her role as an armorer in Alec Baldwin's shooting and killing of uh, cinematographer Helena Hutchins in the Rust movie set, on the Rust movie set. So that's where we are. Uh, Stingy with the $2 says, would it be better if she hired Elaine Bredehoff, <laughs> Elaine Bredehoff, Amber Heard's lawyer? Give it a whirl! Yeah, no, it would probably be... Uh, Oh God, that would just be synergistic. It would it would suck like squared. It would suck squared. Uh, all right, guys, we're gonna shut this down. Mods, thank you so much for being here and for doing your mod stuff. I, I'm I'm grateful to you for the time you give me here. Chat, thank you for being here. We had about a thousand people here at once. Uh, we've got 775 likes. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for the super chats, the gifted memberships, the purchase memberships. Thank you for the support. It, it seriously means a lot to me. And just thank you for being here, chat, for being the Vice Squad, the greatest chat on the entire internet. Let's go over and see what's happening in the Hannah Gutierrez read trial. There's a great guy that I want to introduce you to. He's called me. So, so get over there. Uh, let me scroll on up here and take us out. See you over there on the flip side right now. Larax saying peace out. <laughs>